This video is a brief demonstration of a new ROM, the version 15 ROM, that combines the features of the version 7 and version 8 ROMs in one that allows you to run the single board Z80 computer with the bus display attached in a way that you can run simple demonstration programs right from power on or reset and still retain the ability to use the disk and run CPM. Here's the Z80 single board computer. I'm going to uh, run a terminal emulation program in Linux. This is Minicom. When you power up the computer, it immediately jumps into the monitor program. From there you can look at the various commands and execute them. Dump a 256-byte block of memory, and you can start CPM if you have it installed. Here's the single board Z80 computer with the bus display attached. Like the computer without the bus display, when you power it up, it immediately jumps into the system monitor. From there you can run the same commands. And you can watch the activity on the buses while you do it. Of course, at high speed, it's pretty much just a blur. However, you can change to a slower clock. Of a few cycles per second. And then if you reset it and watch it, you can see pretty much cycle by cycle what the computer is doing on the system buses, the address control and data buses. If you watch the terminal display, you see that eventually it will put out the greeting message, although extremely slowly. What you would like, and what's a little bit difficult to do with this setup, is run some very simple demonstration program, like a program that just increments a byte and displays it, or gets a, an input byte from the port switches that are on the bus display and displays it on the output port LEDs. You can do this with this setup, however it's a little tricky. The demonstration program has to be loaded into the RAM, and then you have to change the clock speed because you have to load it in RAM at high speed and hope that it will, that changing the clocks on the fly will work. It works about half the time, but um, there is a better way. I've just recently coded a new ROM, uh, which I'm calling version 15 because it combines the features of the version 7 ROM that was in the original CPUville kit which had the simple demonstration programs that could be used with the switches that were on that computer's board directly and the features in the version 8 ROM such as being able to run CPM. The version 7 ROM with the demonstration programs really didn't have enough room in it to put in routines to run the disk if I left in the simple demonstration programs. However, this ROM, I was able to keep three of the best demonstration programs, the port reflector, the simple counter, and the count to a million programs, and the disk routine so that with this ROM, you can also uh, run CPM. Like the version 7 ROM, 
you need to enter the address of the program you want to run on the input port switches before you power it up. So I'll give a demonstration here of the port reflector program. Now the addresses for these programs is different than it was in the version 7 ROM. Uh, the port reflector in the version 15 ROM resides at 0007. And I've selected the fast clock and so we'll power it up. There'll be nothing on the terminal display. All the action will be here on the bus display board. So you can see that the address 7 appears on the output port because the program just reads what's ever on the switches and puts it on the output port. So the input port switches here are placed on the output port lights here. And similarly here, same thing. Now, the, some of the charm of the original computer with the version 7 ROM is that you can run it on the slow clock. So I'll switch to the slow clock here. Notice the address on the switches is 0007. So now if you reset it, it will go through the program steps one at a time and you can watch them and instead of running the monitor program which has a lots of steps and it's hard to really watch what's going on with the simple demonstration program like the port reflector you can look and see what action has taken place pretty easily so it's already into the loop where it gets the bytes and puts them on the output ports And here you can also notice one of the undocumented features of the Z80, which is that when you do import, input and output instructions, it puts the bytes on the upper part of the address bus for some reason. The address of the port is only 8 bits long, so this doesn't interfere in any way with the instruction being executed, but it's a kind of an oddball thing that you see with the Z80. The next simple program in the version 15 ROM is the simple counter. It's at location 0012. So 0012. Reset. Start. So what this program does is it's a, just a simple byte counter that's meant to be run at the slow speed. And again, it will just uh, count in binary, displaying the result on the output port. But as it goes slowly and it's a very simple program, you can look at all the signals on the address, control, and data bus and really see what the Z80 is doing um, step by step. The final brief demonstration program in the version 15 ROM is the count to a million program, which is at 001A, 00189A. So this counts to a million by first decrementing a counter 16 times, and when it does that, it increments the output, which is a 16-bit output. Um, so, you know, 64K times 16, roughly a million. So the counts come out very slowly because it has to first decrement the counter 16 times before it even increments the output by one. So you sit here for a long time waiting for something to happen, and eventually it does. Now, the, the charm of this program is that you can show how fast a computer really is with sort of a visual demonstration. Uh, what you do is just uh, 
switch it to the fast clock, which in this C80 is not extremely fast. It's uh, about two megahertz. <clears throat> so we'll do that, and then you can see how fast the counter goes on the fast clock. Now, the, the change in the clocks upset it, so we'll reset it. And there it goes. Now it's doing everything that it did when it was running on the slow clock, but you can see uh, how amazingly fast a computer can be. Now, as I mentioned before, this version 15 ROM combines the features of the version 7 ROM with the simple demonstration programs like these and the uh, system monitor program that lets you display memory load programs and run CPM if you have it installed. Now, the version 15 ROM needs to have an address on its input port switches to jump to. So unlike the version 8 ROM, which just jumps to the system monitor, you have to put the cold start address of the system monitor onto the port switches at power up or reset in order for the monitor to run. So on the display we'll start Minicom again. Um, the address of the monitor cold start is 0494, so I'll put that on the switches. 0494. Now when I reset the computer it will jump to the system monitor. Now, in order to fit all this into one ROM, I had to reduce the characters in some of the um, messages when you're running the system monitor. So instead of commands implemented, when I do this, it just says commands. However, the commands are all here, and they work the same way. The, uh, if you have CPM installed, it will also run. The other thing that you might need to know is that if you are writing a program and you need to jump back into the system monitor and you'll need to find the monitor warm start address, that happens to be 04A0. Uh, if you get this monitor, this uh, version 15 monitor, you'll get the list file that has all the addresses of the various routines so that you'll be able to see exactly where you need to go. That's the end of this demonstration. Thanks for watching.